Hello everyone and welcome to The Break Run. My name is Frank. And I'm Matt. And I'm Kevin. And today we're going to be discussing the brand new wooden coaster coming to Busch Gardens Williamsburg in 2017. So recently after a big social media marketing hype, Busch Gardens Williamsburg finally announced a new wood coaster for 2017. Not too many details have been announced yet except that it's going to be 74 feet tall, 48 miles per hour, it's going to feature 9 airtime hills. And it is going to be located in the New France section of the park and it's gonna be deemed to a Viking battle. So what do you guys think about this? How is a bush, how is a wooden coaster fit at Bush Gardens Williamsburg? Yeah. Well, I think it fits great. They don't have a wooden coaster yet. And you know, every great park needs a good wooden coaster. Yeah, no, I agree. You know, Six Flags Great Adventure has El Toro. Uh, Hershey Park has Lightning Racer and they have Wildcat. And so, so you see that these wooden coasters, they bring in families and they are associated with great theme parks. Yeah, and back to that family aspect. Busch Gardens Williamsburg, they're known for their big thrills. They don't have a really strong family coaster except to the, they had Big Bad Wolf. Now, I mean, they don't really have Verbolton as a family coaster. Verbolton, yeah. So I feel like this is gonna fill in that gap. Right, it's almost a nice bridge between the Grover coaster that they have and Verbolton. So Verbolton does, I mean, it's not that thrilling, but it does have that one part spoiler yeah, alert yeah. but um, <laughs> you know but this will be a nice bridging the gap and i think this wood coaster is going to be a perfect fit for the park exactly and, and just yeah. the way bush gardens is known for carving their coasters with the terrain yeah so i i can only imagine how beautiful this ride this is going to be an awesome custom uh layout which they haven't released the layout yet so i want to wait to see how this layout looks but I think it's it's going to be great. I mean, one thing they haven't announced is the manufacturer. Everyone's just saying GCI. I'm hoping it's a gravity group because what they've done on coasters like Wooden Warrior, having a small family coaster full of airtime, I think that a coaster like that at Williamsburg is going to be a smash hit because right. kids are going to love it, family's going to love it, and coaster enthusiasts are going to just love the Absolutely. airtime. Right. Absolutely. And the reason we can't tell you the name of the ride is because they're actually doing a whole social media campaign and you where, get to actually pick out the ride right the the decide uh, the ride decide the ride this whole decide the ride thing so the options are invader uh viking raider and battle clash so what do you think of this whole marketing campaign how do you think it's gonna uh you know market the ride and so let's go ahead frank i think it is awesome what they are doing that you could actually vote click online which one you want the name to the ride be the only thing I'm concerned about is I'm not a big fan of the theming yet. I'm gonna I want to wait to see how it fits in. I'm not a big fan of the Viking theme, but I'm sure they're gonna pull it off. I think they're gonna do great. I'm not a big fan of the names. I think Invader is okay. Kind of fits with like the Tempest. Yeah, that's the one that's leading right now. Yeah, and I do. I kind of like Viking Raider and Battle Clash, but I feel like those are more like just a flat ride, not like a wood right. coaster. Right. But the whole overall thing to take out of this is that. This is the best way to engage your target audience on how, you know, with Tempesto, everyone kind of thought that their marketing strategy was a little weird. It when was. Tempesto opened in 2014, 15. 2015, I'm sorry. So when Tempesto opened, they did not announce the ride until about a month before it opened. It was already built, we it was, knew it was already it. done. Um, they just dubbed it as a landscaping project, which is a great. It's cool. marketing it's strategy. Interesting. Everyone's talking about it's it. Everyone talks about the landscaping right. project at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, but it was kind of like at the same time, a lot of people had no idea what it was, what it was at all. Exactly. Nobody yeah. had no idea it existed. There was if no hype just, for the ride. Yeah, if you just read online and it said landscaping project, you're thinking, oh, they're adding a couple trees in. Like, <laughs> exactly. They're not adding a whole coaster. So. Exactly. But so now with this direction that they're taking with the desi Decide the Ride campaign, they're building hype. And I... The ride's not even debuting until spring of next year, and people are already excited about yeah, it. Yeah, it's over a year away. I mean, it's kind of—I think it's a little too early to release because that might people might forget about it because they're like, "Oh yeah, they need to add the last year." Wait, they just announced it early. But I think it's—it is. I just think it's great what they're doing. I mean, I'm really proud that it's because again, it's on a trend like Playland's Castaway Cove. It just did it this past year. Now it's finally, and a few small parks have done it before, but now it's the first time where a big theme park. A right. corporate park is doing this. Right. And I hope it happens more in the future. And not only that, personally, I think it's going to drive merchandise sales too. Yeah. Because if I was, personally, my favorite is Invader. If I was going to Busch Gardens Williamsburg and they chose to name it Invader, I'm going to want to buy a t-shirt for it. Right. Like I, I feel like I chose the name of the ride. Yeah, exactly. And it, yeah. I feel like people will walk into the park and be like, hey, 
my name's there. Like, yeah. you know, how many times do you do you see hear people talk about how they walk down Main Street USA and they see all the names in the different windows of people who helped Walt Disney? Like, this is almost the same thing. You're figuring out the best way to get as many people's footprint in the park when they actually go to the park, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Right. I mean, I again, I think we're all on the same page that that what we're doing with this whole decide your decide the not the right name is great. That a wood coaster is great for Busch Gardens Williamsburg, and they are in need of a family coaster. I mean, as much as we all yeah. wanted to see a big giant wood coaster, this is definitely going to fill that gap of right. a family coaster. And another thing I will say, I really like the way they approached it with. They chose three names and they said, here, pick you of pick. these three. That way, like if they just opened it up, then they'd have to go through and file trademarks. Like they already have everything kind of ready to go. So I, I really applaud them for this decision. Yeah, and again, I'm really excited to see how this how this whole decide the ride affects the park, the whole camp the marketing campaign, and hopefully other theme parks will adapt it and it's gonna become more of a thing. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching our video. What do you think about Busch Gardens Williamsburg's new coaster? Do you think a wood coaster is a good fit for the park? Write your comments down below. Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to us here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. Bye.